Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the channel. Now, my name is Aisha. If it's your first time stopping by, thank you for coming. Join the family. Yes. But today is actually a spontaneous, impromptu, impromptu kind of thing. Plan a video with my friend, but she's not ready to do it. Uh, apparently, we still have a lot of work to do. So she's not going to be here. But hopefully, inshallah, one day we'll do this video. But I was dressed for this video already, like the video that we actually planned to do. I was dressed, I was ready. But then when she said, not today, so I was like, you know what? I don't want to waste this effort. I mean, look at her. Look at Aisha. Aisha is looking stunning today. I mean, yeah, Aisha is looking good today. So I was like, you know what? Let me just improvise and i'm going to talk about some topics that i already planned but that doesn't end up happening I, yeah i don't know if you guys can hear somebody screaming that's her imagine imagine what she left me for to do instead of sticking to our plan my day is using our time to watch up at you mm -hmm. That's what my dear is doing. Anyways, um, that's beside the point. For me, it's been a while that I do a sit-down video. I still like standing up for my video and doing it. Like I feel like it's much better, much more active, and yeah. You know, I'm using my front camera to record this. She helped me with um, how to use back camera, and it actually looks good. I record some parts and then I realized that some part of my chest was showing and what well, I noticed that it's so hard to know that when you're using a back camera because there is no way to see what's going on. So I transferred to using my front camera. But maybe one day I would use the back camera again. Hopefully that will work a little better. But we were discussing about the video that we're going to do and she was like, is this how you're going to appear on my channel? I was like, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I mean, I'm not going out or anything. I was like, today's topic is going to be about dressing. <laughs> okay. Apparently, my combination doesn't match. Imagine in Ijebu, they, they don't have this combination. They have the Aisha's combination. Ijebu people, you can... Register to Aisha Dressing Class 101. We will meet up there. So, we are going to talk about dressing today. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should show you what I'm wearing. So, you can see what Mrs. was talking about. Apparently, my combination is not up to the people. I don't know. About, I don't know. Maybe it's just a, maybe it's not a one. But anyways. I got like this um dress that I got from Winners. This is from Shane again. No, hijab is from Shane. But hold on, let me see if I can actually show you. Okay, this is what Aisha has on. I don't know what's wrong with me. So my dress, my long sleeve something, cause you know, and my this, my pants. And imagine, imagine her getting me all worked up throughout the week for this video and not ending up doing it. Imagine that. Is that the combination you're giving? And I was like, yes, girl, that's the combination that I'm bringing to your channel. And what did my Ijebu day people say? It's like, no, the combination doesn't exist in Ijebu. Let me know, guys, if this combination doesn't exist in Ijebu. And that's what I'm going to talk about, dressing. And what does your dressing say about you? Guys, this part is not going to be edited. Okay? You know, even though I want to say that I'm not the, I'm not the person to talk about this topic, because I shall, I've seen me dress sometimes too. But you know what? Dressing is should be something that you enjoy, that is fun, that is not like, you know, 
every time you're going out somebody got to say oh you don't have the right shoes you don't have the right scarf because i get a lot of that they like say um oh no you don't have you should have dressed you should have even with my hijab now some people are like oh you shouldn't have wear this black scarf you should be like show a little bit of hair baby hair let your hair in shows or this yeah, sometimes you end up doing those kind of things because you have pressure going all around around you. But then sometimes you just want to live freely and do whatever. Because me, I remember like so many times I'll be going to school. <laughs> you know, one time I actually want to um wear PJ, PJ to school. Well, like a PJ pants. Maybe I'll have like a normal top, but I'll wear like a PJ pants. But no, I didn't end up doing that, obviously, of course, because if you live in an African home, you know what I'm talking about. How dare you? Me, you know, lay you call, look to my child, lion. Something like that. Like, you can't get out of the house with PJ. Like, are you homeless? Are you clothesless? You know, we will have all those kind of topics that comes up. One more thing that I would say is that I feel that sometimes we also judge what people wear by how they look. I've gotten a couple of um, comments here and there, like even a lot. I don't think I put on weight now compared to when I was a teenager or 20, 21 or something like that. I don't think I've put on weight. But I, I remember back then I used to get a lot of comments like, oh, you're too skinny. You're too, you're like a stick, a bone, you know, all those kind of stuff. And like when you go to parties, you have like those people with, um, you know what, nice curvy body, nice, you know, they all pass everywhere. It's all tons and it's not Botox. It's not surgery. It's like natural. And these are, this is how Allah like make these people and they look beautiful. I mean, like, who doesn't want to have a curvy body? Even me too. I sometimes like yeah, I want to have some curves or like sometimes I'm mean, like maybe I have a little here and there, but you know, you go to parties like that and it's the way that people just can you maybe the dress you are wearing just fits somehow on you. It's not maybe tight fitting or it doesn't show so much and you get comments like ah. We people be like, I've been told like, go eat more, eat more, so you can, you can put on. Eh, I want to wear shirt. Eh, and to my first one, first one, back. Men will see you, boys will see you. So it, it, the person that's going to, that want to like say they even want to toast you, will they even come when you look like you are in poverty or like you are impoverished? But you know, you have those kind of comments like, what can we do? What can we do? We can't tell them to keep quiet. Can we tell them to keep quiet? We like, thank you. Uh, thank you. I will, I will work on it. And then next time when they see you at another party, like, and see, I thought you said that you work on it. Ah. By sharing you. That's how we say. We have not put on. We have not put on any. I don't know what to say maybe it's deep rooted in African culture, but maybe like in specific parts of Nigeria tribe, um, they like voluptuous, curvy, even men and women, they, that's the attraction. Sometimes you even say maybe like the face doesn't matter that as long as you get the curves in the right area, but depending on how you look, people will say something. In it. Like say maybe you are wearing the most beautiful, the most beautiful gown ever. My friend told me that we have twins in this building. Every morning and sometimes weekend or maybe every weekend, so these people will be running around, running around. And I think they live up above us. So you can imagine how that is. So if you hear running steps, Welcome to my home. Say that you wear like the most beautiful gown ever. You have like this slavery or golden dress and it's so, 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 so beautiful. And you're wearing it. And maybe you are four out of 10 in, on a beauty scale. Maybe you are a three, six out of 10 on a beauty, on a beauty scale. 
And just because you are not 10 to 10, somehow you ruin the dress. Have you have you gotten something like that before? Because I have. It's like your face has to match the dress, or the dress is 10 out of 10, but you are. I mean, should it be like that? I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be like that. You can't look at something on a service level and be like, that's all that there, there is to it. It's deeper than that. Dressing is part of beauty and it is part of how you present yourself. What I'm wearing right now, I can say that I'm going to a masjid. Like, some, sometimes I actually like to dress to masjid. Because <laughs> you know what? I have so many dresses and you don't find time to go to maybe function, parties or, or something like that. So I kind of wear my dress on my, on Friday and said, you know what? This, this goes. I'm wearing my dress. I bought this now. Why can't I wear it? Just because it's snowing outside it doesn't mean that I can't still dress, uh, nice. You know what I mean? I also believe that dressing is part of how you present yourself. But I don't think it's definitive of how you present yourself. And it's not definitive of how you see you. I know that people like to make opinions and to judge and to exert that, oh, you're not supposed to be wearing that. But it's on my body. Why are you bothered? If somebody comes to you and blinkedly said, oh, what you're wearing is ugly. It doesn't suit you. It doesn't look good on you. You might actually take that to heart. But I always say that those kind of comments, you should take it with a grain of salt because it's not even coming from a genuine place. If somebody will be so blatantly rude to you, it's not genuine. It's like whatever advice they're giving, it's not genuine. You just want to talk to me because you can't talk to me or you feel like you are in a position that warrants that you talk and I have to listen. But at the end of the day, I don't have to agree with you. I kind of want to use this camera just to see how it is. I mean, I'm still using front camera, but this is the portrait one. So you see like it's a little blurry down there. And I change it back. <laughs> oh my God. Until we have a good camera. I know I bought one camera a long time ago, but it didn't work for me. So I returned it. But anyways, moving on. Does your dressing affect how people see you? It does. If you're in this kind of situation, you can decide your reaction to it. You can decide how you're going to categorize people that says, oh, they look at you somehow rudely or that you didn't look the part versus people that are just like, you know what? She's dressed. That's all that matters. You know, I think it's what we hold you. Whether men, women, we all ask, oh, do you think my dress is nice? Do you think this combination is nice? In my circle of friends, yeah, I ask them sometimes, do you think my dress is nice? Especially when I, when somebody else tell me that, oh, this dress looks so wrong on you. If people tell me that, then I go to my friends and be like, give me your honest opinion. Do you think this combination or this dress or this thing that I'm wearing is bad? And most of the time, they have said, it's good. I don't see anything wrong with it. And this was when I was in university. Like, it's good. I don't think anything wrong with it. Warranted, you can say, oh, they're your friend. Of course, they're going to tell you whatever you're doing is not wrong. But when you emphasize, please give me your honest opinion. But I've done that. I've gotten like so many horrible comments. Of, that looks ugly on you. Or you don't look good in it. Or what's your face? Sometimes you, you don't know how rude people can be. Imagine people go to people and say that and tell them that they are ugly. People tell people that, oh, you smell. Even when they don't. You're ugly even when they don't. And even if they are, I don't think you should say that to people. Personally, I don't think you should. But for some reason, people feel like they need to just... Maybe it's out of aggression or out of jealousy or envy or whatever else that they're trying to displace on you. They just feel like they need to. Because I have gotten those kind of comments. I've been called ugly. One time, somebody that I really actually adored once told me that 
Oh, I didn't know that you looked that pretty. You like them. You love them. And they tell you, oh, I didn't know you looked that pretty. I didn't know you looked that beautiful. And I'm like, excuse me. So all this time that we've been hanging out, we've been friends, we've been close. You didn't think I was, even if I was ugly, even if I was ugly, even if I'm unattractive, even my voice, my act around you, it doesn't say anything about my attractiveness. So it's just this face that fools you, that is not caked and mixed up, that tells you that I'm not. I, I don't know if they notice what they said. Maybe it's just something that they blurt out and they couldn't take back. And I'm like, you know, it's nice to know that you feel like this or you think this. But really, since we really, 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 girl, really, really. But that's that. And that's like when I heard that, I, it was disappointing because, like I said, I adored this person. Adored. I don't think I would in my own right mind say that. And I've always tried to see the beauty in people. One time I was in a group and I was sitting all around them. And I look at every single person and every single person is beautiful. Like they are beautiful. I don't, and I look at myself and I don't feel beautiful. I don't see myself as, as beautiful. And I was like, what a contrast to notice things around you and see that everyone is actually beautiful. I'm talking about physical beauty, like face, facial. Everyone was, every single one. And I don't see that in myself. And which is so interesting. And I'm kind of glad that even though I hadn't seen that in myself, at least I can still see the beauty around me. I hope you understand it. Like I'm not feeling down that, oh, look at all these beautiful people around me and I'm, not like that, but it just wowed to me. Even though I might not find my physical attractiveness or believe in my physical attractiveness, like something inside me still sees beauty. And that in itself is beautiful. You know, one time I got this comment on a comment that I commented on. And somebody said ugly. Or somebody said that with your face, something like that. You know, it's so interesting. And I was thinking to myself, I did right. Because honestly, <laughs> I don't I don't know why I feel like that. Honestly, I have no idea why I feel like that. But I was thinking, I did right. People have a way of convincing you. And sometimes you have a way of convincing yourself to believe in some ugly things about you. Well, I mean, look at me. Sometimes I feel like, mm, I shouldn't get out so much. And you know that comment? I actually just left it there because i would have flagged it or deleted it or something like that but i left it there with the intention that oh maybe they are right maybe i'm not so i left it there but i know that somebody must have flagged it or deleted it on my behalf whoever it was thank you but i don't know where that sentiment came from it i did right does your way of dressing affect how people perceive you I think it does. And should you care? It's up to you. If they are very familiar to you, very close to you, in my for example that I stated before, I adored this person and they still went in and say that. And I'm like, what can you do? So maybe sometimes when people are saying some, some of these things to us, you just need to rephrase it somehow so they can get the message across. And we don't get offended. <laughs> or in my case, wonder about it and wonder if they are right. You know, some things like that happen. Um, even as a young girl, you want to be cautious about the friends that you keep. You know, if your friends are just going to come to you and bash you every time, maybe you want to take a step back and be like, you know what, you're not good for me. And even if what you're saying is true, I don't think you need to come across like that. You have to realize that it affects people, how people perceive you, but that's on them. When people criticize you in a way, the action 
is that you should go and fix yourself. Do you actually look at to yourself? Do you see that what they are saying resonates to you? Or is it that it's just them and it's how they perceive and they are the one that should go and work on their perception of you and not you? I mean, it takes a lot of God and it takes a lot of work to dress. The same dress that I was wearing one time and someone in my house was like, and I wore it outside and someone was like, I like that dress. It looks good on you. I was like, well, thank you. Thank you. See, this kind of thing happens. Somebody's cup of tea is not, might not be your cup of tea. And somebody's way of speaking, dressing, intelligence is not your cup of tea. It happens. And we all move on. I mean, some people like to dress modestly. And that's them. They can't see themselves not dressing modestly. And even in that modest state, you still have people come to them and be like, oh, this abaya you're wearing is not given. I mean, like, look at your scarf. It doesn't match your cap. It doesn't match this. It doesn't match that. You should change that. I see that dressing is part of how you garner people around you, how you make your friends. Like, in, even in your own family, maybe your little sister will dress way nicer than you. But maybe this sister has a curvier, nice body. She has a pretty face that everything she wears works on her. And you, that's average, is going to get bashed every time, even if you wear the most spectacular. Just because. I mean, it happens. You separate the person. You separate their pretty face and the body they have and put a dress on them. But like, mm, it's still not giving. But if you put it on maybe a prettier face, a nicer body, and they be like, okay, yeah, that, that's it. So sometimes you've got to see that. Maybe you're not the ideal figure that they see that's ideal. And then they use whatever you wear or whatever it's on you to judge you even further. For me personally, I see that it happens a lot. But I can't change people's perception. Like... I'm going to wear what I wear. I'm, you know, we can't always get it right. Maybe one day I'm going to work and I wear a green pad and a brown um, top. I've done that. And I know that, oh, this kind of looks odd. If somebody saw see me outside like that and be like, oh, what's she wearing? That's not a right combination. Like, Excuse you. I have, do you want to do my laundry? You want to do my laundry? Come on, do my laundry. Come on, do it. People say that females judge each other very harshly. And I try to step away from that because I'm like, hmm, is it actually true? And it doesn't matter if, if this is coming from like a mother or, or auntie or grandmother or any variation of females like that. It doesn't matter. We still kind of have this mindset or this thing to be so mean to each other. And I saw it online too. It's kind of like a, Thing that I'm still looking on if it's true or if it's just a trend. Maybe women are actually nice to each other, but maybe not so much because I have also seen it in my own um, individual life. You know, I look back to my um, school years now and I'm like, hmm, why had I allowed this person to be like that to me? It is part of how we attract people, our friends. Yeah, you know, I have a friend that she dressed really nicely. But she got the body. And was Aisha jealous of it? No. Me, I'd be like that kind of person that'd be like, oh my God, you got a nice body. And that's, that's it. It's like, I'm just telling you as a compliment. I don't think I've gone to people or see them and be like, that dress is absolutely not nice. Even if there is something wrong, I'd be like, you know what? Your bangle is nice. Or your pants is nice. But I don't think I've gone out and be like, this is absolutely I don't think I've done that. I don't think so. I don't think, and I don't think, I don't think I have the confidence to say that. But I bet that people see themselves. Even before we give our own opinion, our own advice, I bet that people generally, when they dress, 
they either thought that this dress is so popping, like it's really popping, or they saw it and they have no other choice but to rely on that. I try to chill, you know, live softly, humbly. That's me, not a perfectionist in that manner. And my last point is on men. Does men care about how you dress? This is why I said I'm not a person to talk about dressing because I dress moderately, I hope. And yes, warranted. I'm getting many ill comments that, oh, that doesn't look good on you. You should go back and change. Just go home and change. I don't care. Because me, I can't be commanded to me myself. Like again, is it you or is it me? But I will say maybe, maybe. I don't think I've gotten a compliment. For, oh, you know what? I actually have, I actually have gotten a compliment from someone and when I was in university. Your dress looked nice. And I was like, oh, thanks. That's it. So maybe guys do care when they're, when women dress nicely. From what I've seen online, it is true that men does, especially when it comes to about like dressing modestly, covering some certain part of your body and not dressing modestly. Maybe modesty is a thing in their country or tribe or culture. And maybe sometimes it's not like that in other people's culture or yeah so that kind of thing will definitely influence how a man gravitates towards a woman dressing say maybe like in 1900s you can't be wearing off shoulder sleeveless in those kind of time and people or even the men will think that you are a good christian or muslim person to marry or to associate with so think of it in that kind of thing. I think the time, culture, background, it, it will say so much about how a man is influenced by women's dressing. Maybe you are a Muslim woman and you're looking to find a Muslim guy to marry and you are not wearing, just say that you're not, you're even wearing your hijab, but your dressing is tight. It's very, I mean, like it shows, like, mashallah, you have all the curves and it shows everything. And people will come to you and be like, who is the kind of guy that's gonna go for that? Or like, what Muslim guy will go for you dressed like that? In a Muslim circle, Muslim community, men do marry women that are not wearing hijab, not, you know, all those kind of variations. Change is not constant and people are not constant. People change. We evolve that's i think that's part of life and for people to just come to you like that sometimes and expect you to have everything figured out it's like you're not doing a good justice in 19 year old what's in getting this society if you are if you come from a family that maybe they are liberally conservative maybe you can get away with some stuff like dressing in a tight pants or tight dress it happens. I mean, I went to school. I've worn those kind of stuff before. I've seen my friends wear those kind of stuff before. And they have gone on to get married. Like, it happens. On the other side of the spectrum are those that wear habaya. They wear full-on, nice, loose clothes. And they're not married. And people come to them like, yeah, when you're dressed like that, who will come and marry you? Like, you have those kind of scenarios. It's just faith. Sometimes when you think about this stuff, it's just faith. Perhaps men in our surroundings do get influenced by our dressing and who they eventually approach. Again, that's on them. I might dress like this and be like, I'm feeling torn. I look good. I'm feeling so, I'm feeling so good about it. And maybe what I wear is like the worst thing they've ever seen <laughs> or the worst thing they've ever encountered. So can I blame them for that? Can I, maybe it's, maybe, maybe they really see something wrong with it and I don't. We can't all see in the same way. I think when people say this, sometimes we don't have to take it to heart, especially if they didn't come across as 
giving you nice if it's not a positive constructive criticism you might not want to even dive or even think about what they're saying that you know what i think you're just saying that out of spite envy or jealousy and all those kind of stuff when people are giving advice when they're giving positive constructive criticism they will come with but here is what we can do they come with solutions versus people that will come with negative criticism oh, well you look what are you wearing you look like this and they won't say anything else they just want to i think that's another way to see it when people say what they want to say and they say but here is how i can help but here is the solution that i think you can see that they're not trying to come off uh, rudely but then the other part so you have said all this what's your solution or you have just come to say <laughs> or you have just come to say everything that's my last um point and men like perhaps they do and perhaps they don't they're gonna be yours anyway regardless of what you're wearing regardless of how you look regardless 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 of regardless and regardless even if you finally finally think that people are right and maybe you're not dressed in nice and perhaps that's what this other your potential potential sees in you and be like i think that looks absolutely good you made that combination so <laughs> i like your combination sister alhamdulillah that this video is possible like as i said this is not planned anyways oh my goodness i'm tired you know this girl came and she was like you've been talking for the past hour i think that's why i'm not very constant and very um diligent on youtube because i talk and i keep talking and by the time i notice i'm like oh my god i've talked for two hours for something that i only want for 20 minutes stay to watch other videos you will like it anyways somebody go and see my And do tell me what you think about dressing. Does men actually wear, look at dressing? Is that why we're still single? I don't know, Sha. Anyways, that's what I want to say. Oh, bye bye. Mm. Asha is tired. You know how I do my job today? I saw this girl on Instagram, Sumaya. I think her name is Sumaya. Very beautiful. She made that this one that you start from here and you tie it here. Yeah, and it actually turned out really nice. I know that this style that I started, I think a year ago, I still haven't. Maybe one dish. Anyway, salam alaikum.